Well, last time I came through here, this path wasn't here. It was uh, a little detour over there. So this is the first time I've been through here and I'm going to give it a review and uh, my initial thoughts. So let's go. First thing, it's nicely fringed by concrete curbs on both sides, which is good. Keeps the grass out uh, and stops the edges of the of the uh, of the path fraying, which happens over time. You'll see that on the older paths around the place, the grass has encroached and the, uh, the curbs are all cracking up. Curbs, the edges of the path. You know what I mean. Um, okay, it's uh, it's a nice colour. Um, I mean, it's a very dark red almost black but I guess it's clear it's a, it's a shared path um, what else can we say about it it's nice and wide um, okay I've put in a nice little thing here for the uh, the rowers to uh, to launch from Trinity which is quite good winds around a bit but not much so there's no sharp bends or anything like that there's no blind corners beautiful view that's the casino over there horrible place otherwise but you know it's a great view out there across the water I think they've regrassed everything along here uh, I'm not exactly sure what they did but they kind of dug the whole area I think oh this looks like a new drainage pond here perhaps maybe there's something to do with drainage and look the path ends and that's that <laughs> it's not much of a new path but uh, they actually got it right. I mean, it's, it's smooth to ride on. I mean, I, along here, this is an older path. And I'm getting just a little bit of bumpity bump uh, through the bike. But back there, that's, that was good, you know. Comparing it to uh, you know, some of the disasters that Canada Bay has built, which were much, much shorter than that, where they couldn't build a nice, smooth bit of path, that's, that's top notch. Uh, all around so why uh, well like I said it's got uh, it's got concrete bits on the side you can see here's an older path and the edges of the path have frayed quite a bit in places and I've, I've ridden on paths in Perth which are maybe 30 or so years old and they've shrunk quite considerably because the grass etc nibbling in from the side has uh, has reduced the width quite substantially and you, you don't have that problem along here well they're not going to have that problem back there on that, uh, that new section of path and obviously it's much wider than this, this old section here. I didn't look to see if there's any lighting um, and I guess it's well drained. There's certainly some parts of this path at the moment which are underwater. This morning when I rode uh, this way on the other side of the river there were a few sections where I almost got my feet wet. It was, uh, it was that bad. It was like riding around the Cooks River uh, when it floods. But I guess time will tell whether that bit of path there is doing the same. I, I doubt it because it looks like they've put in some decent drainage. Anyway, there's a four minute review of, uh, of a one minute path. And uh, I guess it'd be nice if, if all bits of new infrastructure like that were built to that kind of standard.